This video lesson is on the circular flow diagram. The circular flow diagram shows the flow of money in a free market economy. How far can one dollar go? There are three structures in a free market economy. Businesses, which represent firms, individuals, which represent households, and the government. The resource market, also known as the factor market, is a market where the factors of production, land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship, are bought and sold. The product market is a market where finished goods and services are bought and sold. Businesses make various goods and services and they sell them in the product market. Individuals buy goods and services from the product market. Individuals spend money in the product market. Businesses earn revenue from the product market. Businesses need resources from individuals. We as individuals own our land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Businesses then convert resources from individuals into goods and services. Businesses need to pay for all the resources they are using. These resources are called the costs of production, land, labor, and capital. The money individuals receive from business is called income. Government buys goods and services in the product market. Schools would be an example. And schools purchase equipment like computers in the product market. The money that government uses to buy goods in the product market is called government spending. Government hires resources, land, labor, and capital in the resource market that go into that government institution. Government also has to pay for that labor, and that money going into the resource market is called government spending. Government gets their revenue through taxes. Businesses pay corporate taxes, and individuals pay income and sales taxes. Government can also give money to businesses in what is called a subsidy. An example would be the government giving money to General Motors or give transfer payments to individuals. An example would be Social Security. Government also provides goods and services and what is called public goods to both businesses and individuals. An example would be the military, education, and our highway system. All of the green arrows represent the circular flow of money in a free market economy. Quick review. Businesses supply goods and services in the product market. Individuals demand goods and services in the product market. Individuals supply land, labor, and capital in the resource market. Businesses demand land, labor, and capital in the resource markets.